Hi, my name is James and thanks for tuning in on my newest video. This particular one has to do with the new Windows 10 update uh, that came through on November 12th. Now this particular update is not like the previous updates that Windows 10 has released. Uh, those have been pretty frequently, maybe a week, every two weeks, or just be a small update. And those could be anywhere from, you know, security fixes, um, updating virus protection, you know, if you're using Defender or things like that. This particular update is huge. Um, it is almost reinstalling your whole OS and it takes anywhere from about 30 minutes up, up to an hour to do. Um, if you've used Windows in the past, this update would almost be considered like a service pack. So, either your computer is going to do it automatically, but if you don't want to wait for your computer to do it automatically, let me show you how, how to get to it. Um, so you can just kind of force your computer to do it when you want it to be done. If you go to, you know, obviously start, sorry about that, start, settings, update and security, and your first tab right here should be Windows Update. Now, I have one update that just kind of came through this morning, uh, and it's here, but if you have not did this huge update, um, you're going to have several updates right here, and one of those updates is going to be Threshold 2 and Threshold 2 is going to be here. That is the big huge Windows update um, and it will take your computer to version 1511. Okay. Now one thing to note, if there are several updates that you need to have done, there's going to be several. So there could be this one here, this one here, this one here, this one here, and then this Threshold 2 right here. Your computer needs to do all of those updates before it gets to um, the one behind it. So um, there, it may cause your computer to start and reboot several times. You also may have to go to this menu if you're doing it manually. You may have to go to this menu several times also. So once you start updating, um, always go back to this Windows Update screen and see if there's any more left here. If there is, again, you just click install now and just keep installing until you get to uh, the, th the threshold. Okay, And that will do the install for you. And again, like I said, once you reach the threshold update, it can take up to an hour. So make sure you have uh, the time to do it. If you're using a laptop, make sure that it's plugged in. Um, and that's pretty much it. Okay, so let's get to the features of the different, uh, of this uh, actual update. Uh, the first thing is this, and um, if you've already installed Windows 10, this may not be that big of a deal to you, but if you need to install it on another machine, um, or, you, you know, some people just have a preference for doing this, I've always liked to do a clean install of Windows 10, or, or any, any OS. Well, you haven't been able to do that in the past. In the past, it always required that you install Windows 7, or install Windows 8, or 8.1, and then do an upgrade. And then it would automatically go ahead and um, activate your OS and everything like that. Well, that's no longer necessary. Uh, with this new update, you can do a install, a clean install, and just use your Windows 7, 8, or 8.1 product keys. So for some people, you know, they're going to want to go ahead and just do a, a, a clean install now. Or if you're upgrading another computer, uh, when you download Windows 10, and it includes this new update, you can just enter your 7, 8, or 8.1 product keys and they will work just fine. Um, thing number two, and there's actually a number of them, but thing number two is now you do have the option of having, actually let me open up a window here. If you notice up here on Windows 10, this title bar up here has always just been just a white color. I run my computers in a performance mode, so here it's not transparent. But if you were running it in a in the uh, not the performance mode, but you know where it's aesthetically beautiful mode, uh, this would be transparent. Well, now Windows 10 gives you the option to have those bars instead of just being white uh, to be in color now. So let me go here. So settings, personalization colors and right here you have show colors on start taskbar action menu and title bars um, and so mine is off right now let me 
show you here. See how that's like a dark gray? If you go back to it, once you turn it on, it makes your title bars. Let me open up a Chrome window here. It makes your title bars in color. Obviously, uh, if you're not in performance mode, this will be transparent. It gives you color down here, but it also gives you color in here also. So that is one change, and it's a, a, a visual change, but you know people have, that, have asked for it. Uh, one of the other options you do have is if you stay on the same menu and you go to the start menu, you have the option to make your start menu a full screen. Now you've had this option before, you could just run your computer in the tablet mode, but this also gives you the option of having your computer in the PC mode and having a full start screen. So under the personalization menu, if you go to start, click this on, now your start screen is this full screen here and you know your settings are here and obviously your programs are here so it's a what is basically doing is just taking the visualization from the tablet mode and it's putting it in an option so I kinda prefer to have mine like that so there we go that way my file explorer and settings and things like that are readily apparent okay so since we're on this particular oh great it showed up since we are on this menu this is another option that is now included if you notice right here it has a suggested app and it's uh, the CBS app and it is free okay well that particular app I've I don't have so it's actually suggesting an app that I go and I buy now in about the 12 hours since I've had this OS, all the ones that it suggested have been free, but I'm assuming it's also going to suggest the ones that are paid. And those would be apps that are in the uh, the Microsoft App Store. So this is something new. If you don't want that those suggestions there, you do have an option on that also. And let me just show you where that is. Go to Start, um, Personalizations. start menu and right here where it says optionally show suggested apps and start all you do is you turn that off and those suggestions will no longer appear now one of the things I have noticed is that it, it really is very specific I noticed that it actually suggested a an NFL lap and you know how we got that information that I like really like NFL football whether they already have an NFL lap or whether it sees that you know I'm doing searches for football sites or things like that who really knows they really don't really tell me but uh, they do suggest apps that you might find appealing so that is something to kind of consider I think I'll have it on why not okay now the next option okay now the next option is a biggie um, if you've used a Mac in the past you know that uh, they've always had the ability to go and track not always but definitely recently uh, they've always been able to go in and track a PC that has been lost or stolen without the use of any outside software well now Windows 10 gives you the ability to do that um, if your PC is lost or stolen you have the ability to track it without going and purchasing a third party type tracking software so where you get to that is obviously your start menu go to settings update and security and if you are using a tablet or laptop I did notice that this op this menu option was not on a PC or on a desktop computer but it, it did show up on my laptop and it did show up on my ta uh, Windows 10 tablet you have your find my device right here so if you click there now right here it's going to be actually off you click it on and all of a sudden it starts uh, notating your your location every so often it doesn't describe how often it does it could be every minute it could be every 10 minutes who knows but uh, once you turn this particular thing on it will start notating where your device is now I want to show you what it actually will give you you have an icon up here and this is to your Microsoft account let me take you to a really quick manager device.
devices, finding your lost computer, sign in, uh -huh. we'll do that, you can't see my password, so there you go. Okay, now, here are the three different devices that I happen to have, you know, James Tablet, this is my actual laptop, even though it says it's under a laptop, but if you would click find my device here, it actually gives you a map. So there we go. And that's there we go. So that is kind of a neat feature, I think. Um, it's going to save some people some money that want to save, you know, that, that actually want to um, track their device without buying a third party app. So I think that is kind of a big, I think that's probably the biggest improvement. Uh, in this whole uh, OS. Now, um, those of you, another change, those of you that are using an Edge browser, the Edge browser actually gives you now uh, the ability to sync on all of your computers as far as the Edge browser. If you've been using Chrome, you're probably used to this. Well, Edge did not have this this before. So now, if you're using an Edge browser on your laptop, you can actually, you know, your history, your favorites, everything else like that will sync to your desktop also for a seamless experience. One other thing is it gives you the ability to preview. So let me just type in a, 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 a let me type in like CNN.com. And then let me open up another tab and let me open up Wikipedia. Okay, so now you also do have the option to get little previews of whatever is there. So see, as I move it and I put it over here, it gives me actually a preview. That was not in the previous, um, well, before the update, but it is now. Kind of a neat little thing. Now another big feature. Uh, that has been included in Windows 10. You now, within the operating system, you now have an integrated Skype. Okay, uh, so if you do have, you still have the option to download the old uh, Skype app and have it be separately, but they actually give you one that is built in now, and it's not listed under Skype or anything. It's actually listed under messaging. So if you go here, see it says new, and I intentionally did not click it on, on this particular machine because I wanted to show you what it what it looked like before but if you click messaging and now it gives you setting up now it actually gives you this is the new messaging plus Skype and it's actually built into the OS now just like I was saying so you can go ahead and continue and it gives you an integrated Skype is now integrated in the OS as opposed to being an outside app so that's kind of another thing that's really neat. Okay, and on to the next feature. And Cortina. Cortina is better, okay? So it's being a little bit more intuitive. Uh, one, um, there's not a whole lot visually that you can see that it's where it's actually changed, but it is giving you the option uh, to do things like um, it will search your email. So if you, let's say you purchased airline tickets, and they send you a no 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 this is actually better let's say you purchase something on eBay and they send you a confirmation of a tracking number and things like that now Cortina will be giving you those updates you know here's your tracking information on this particular package and it will know just because it's scanning your email yeah I know that has to do with with the whole privacy issue yeah exactly enough said that's a whole nother another video but also one of the things that it will do is let's say you have a tablet or a phone and you have a PC um, and your PC is actually on you can set it up to where it will automatically put your PC in standby when you're no longer there so if you're at another location with your Windows phone you can have uh, your computers automatically know that you're no longer there put your computer in sleep mode hibernation mode or turn it off completely um, you know who knows if someone is 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 using it but obviously if you're gonna have multiple people using a computer you don't want to have it automatically do that so on to the next thing um, Windows 10 will also set up your default printer for you um, 
what that basically means is just this is that it whatever is the last device that you've used or the device that you use the most you can actually have Windows 10 go and set up the device automatically and that again I you know let me just start start over because I didn't tell you so we go to settings um, we go to devices and that option is right here where it says let Windows manage my default printer so again it's not only the last printer here it says when turned on the default printer is the last printer to use which is kind of true but from my understanding if you're in another location okay so let's say you know you you take your laptop and you're in your house the last printer in your house or that you use the most that will be the default printer but if you go to another location and you use some other printer let's say at your work boom automatically that becomes uh, your default printer now yeah, kind of kind of a neat a neat little thing um, I don't know how much I'll use it but who knows another feature is and again this one's really not that not that big of a deal but if you if you want to change how your login screen looks again settings personalization you do have the option and then lock screen you have the option to just right, right here to where you can not show anything at all on your login screen no picture no nothing just kind of a plain grayed out screen like in days of old so you do have the option of doing that I wonder why this is here let's go Facebook okay so that is pretty much all of the important I think or real real prominent features in the new Windows 10 update um, if you like this video please give me a like please subscribe um, I'm also going to be making another video that will be coming out probably tomorrow on how this new Windows 10 update is going to be is going to affect you as far as privacy because some of these features that I have showed you they are um, you, you know in order for for instance like I said the Cortina to work it needs to scan and read your emails and really really take a comprehensive look as hey is this person going somewhere did they just purchase an airline ticket did they just purchase something off of eBay so uh, I've already made some uh, some videos concerning privacy in Windows 10 so you can please refer to those actually it's you know, kind of right up here or and then there's also going to be one that I will be making tomorrow that is going to just concern the Windows 10 update and what are some of the privacy differences thank you for tuning in again like I said please like please subscribe and have a very good day. Thank you.